Hi hey guys, uh, welcome to my another um, quick tutorial on setting up um, SSL to any of your websites, which is hosted in Ubuntu and Nginx. So I won't be wasting a lot of time and I will start doing some quick setup. So um, I'll be setting up a quick web server based on Nginx and try to host a quick uh, HTML CSS website there. And from there, uh, we'll just try to set up a uh, SSL for that one. So <clears throat> as you can see here in our um, Dislotion. Um, okay, so we're using Dislotion here just for the tutorial purpose. So the process would be technically the same for all the public cloud platforms. So once you're here, you just need to go to the droplets and um, create a, a web server so for that one you just need to set up a quick um virtual machine based on ubuntu and this is as a test one so i have all the details here and i will just give name as install ssl online as a domain name so what we do here is we just um with the droplet here okay let me open up terminal here and uh i will just do a ping to the public IP just to make sure that I can ping. Now, if I can ping, that means I just need to set up the A record for the domain that we are setting up the web server, do the uh, public IP that we just uh, deployed in a uh, digital ocean. So you just need to go to the any um, data service provider, just go to a hosted zone, go to the domain and just create an A record here. So I'm just creating a record and giving a TTL of 60 seconds so that the update is faster. Create the a record, open up the terminal again, and then just ping. Um, okay, before even that one, uh, so for the ANS uh, testing, we use a tool called dig in Linux or Mac. So dig a install SSL online. Uh, that gives us the domain, uh, the public IP that's been provided in the solution that's ending with dot 44. So we're all good for that one. Now what we need to do, is we just need to do a remote login to that one. So we'll just do install SSL online. So technically we are into the machine. So we are here. So once we are here, the first thing that you should always do is do a quick update. So, pt update. So while it's updating, now next step would be to check if the server uh, that we are logged in is the actual IP is 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 the actual server and has the same IP. So for that one, I use a tool called if config. Okay, so it's not there. I'll just uh, install that one. So once it's installed, if config, uh, grip four dot forty four. Okay, so that means we are in the right server. So the next step would be to quickly um, install uh, Nginx into Ubuntu. So just to validate that one, if you do install server online, you won't see anything here. But if you, let's say, do an installation of Nginx apt install, so let's say, apt install nginx and so system stl enable nginx and system ctl start nginx system ctl okay so up and running so if you refresh the page, you should see something here. Okay, 
now you see that welcome to nginx that's been that means the server is successfully um deployed and we got a default page here so uh next step is uh we would like to set up a custom um server in this a custom uh, website in this a template so just for testing purpose i'll go to github then let's search for basic html site uh basic html okay i'm just html css okay let's use that one do a quick copy so what we should do now is go to terminal again um, okay um let's do a good clone of uh okay, good clone of the github default file and um so while setting up the uh basic HTML site uh let me first go to we got all the files so let's now let's create a required directories for the nginx uh, web server so what i'll do is make the and p so it should be under let's say fair and ww let's give you our domain name install dot online class Email. So we created the folder that one. So what I would like to do now is copy everything from this path, including the recursive ones, to that one. If we do that one, so we got all the files in that um, newly created directory. Now what we need to do is we just need to create a conf file so that Nginx can pick up. Uh, this these as simple files while setting up the server right so what we normally do is for that one just do uh, slash uh, nginx um, conf.d let's create a conf file called install ssl.online.conf and uh, let's install a few things uh, let's, uh, let's say not install but let's get a few things I've got the template ready here already so you can use the same thing so it's nothing but index root uh server name error logs blah 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 so just to write quit and system ctl to start index so let's go to our thing here now we got the new html website now our task here is to set up a server uh ssl okay the server is set up now what we need to do is now here is we just need to set up the ssl right now it's not secure because it's using default one so for that one let's go to terminal again and what we do is deputy apt get uh install so what and python 3 so put as um nginx so okay so we got uh server that's installed as well for nginx so what we do to do now is start bot nginx uh, we should give a default name here default email that you like to uh, give to the ssl provider that's let's encrypt here then terms and conditions yes and yes as well so since i uh, will be doing to install still online just press one so what it's doing now is it's a requesting a certificate to uh, let's encrypt and it's just setting up the all configs as required in the server so it looks like it's done now if you do refresh for this page as you can see it's now redirected to https 
and you can see the connection is secure and certificate is valid so it's going to be valid for next uh then third march april four months which is more than enough um for the demonstration so that should be it for now um and if you get any other questions just let me know and i will try to put all the commands that i use here for the future purpose that's all for now thank you guys bye